Hey, what's up? Today at Art Pro, we are going to see how to download and install Adobe Photoshop Beta very easily and quickly, which incorporates generative fill and other artificial intelligence functions from Adobe Firefly. Also, in this same video, for those of you who have any problems, I will give you a solution that has worked for me so that you can use all the functions without any restrictions of any kind. Let's get started. The first thing we are going to see is how to download and install this version of Photoshop. In this case, it would not be the normal version, but we will have to install a beta version. To do this, we would open Adobe's Creative Cloud, and here we would have both the installed programs and others that our plan incorporates. However, beta versions of programs are in a separate section that we can find here on the left bar. We would have to click here on Beta Version Applications, and here they would all be. The first one that appears to us is this one of Photoshop, the beta, and we would simply have to click on the install button so that it will start doing, like any other Adobe program, the download and installation automatically. We wait a few seconds, and when it is ready, it will tell us here that it is updated. We just have to click on the open button. And here we already see during the loading that the appearance is different from the ordinary version of Photoshop. Here, when we enter for the first time, we can see some of the novelties of this beta version. And here is a small help manual. But it may happen that despite downloading Adobe Photoshop Beta, and having it updated to its latest version, although this bar allows us to select subjects, the generative fill option is blocked. In this case, the solution is not very intuitive, but it is really easy and fast. I'll tell you how I did it. We would simply have to open the Creative Cloud from where we downloaded the program. We will click here on the Applications tab, and here in the left menu, we will go all the way down and select the Behance option. If until now we have never configured our date of birth, a pop-up window will appear and allow us to indicate the month and year of our birth. In this way, Adobe can verify if we are over 18 years old, and if so, unlock the generative fill function of Photoshop. This is how it worked for me, and I hope it will be useful for you too if you have this same restriction. If you liked the video, you can leave me a like, and of course if you haven't already done so, you can subscribe to the channel to learn and enjoy many more utilities like this.